He has one of the toughest jobs in the Garden State, mayor of New Jersey's largest city. He's also considered one of the leading potential candidates for a variety of political positions. And joining us now is the mayor of Newark, New Jersey, Cory Booker. Mr. Mayor, good of you to come on in. It's good to be here. You have made headlines recently talking about the Muslim surveillance situation. Uh, and one of the things that I've read you say is that New Jersey's, Newark's police were not cooperating or part of the operation with the NYPD? Well, they were cooperating, but in a very limited scope. Uh, our, our police director, our former police director, this is five years ago now, was contacted and told that they were, wanted to do an operation. Could they help out? Uh, I know from our internal interviews that they uh, went with them to point out different sites. But that was pretty much the extent of it. And I think what we didn't understand then, and now we have protocols to make sure it's in place, that this was a part of a larger operation, or at least we suspect it was. Uh, the big issue... Do you issue, think a lot of things that they did were kept secret from Newark authorities intentionally? Um, you know, I actually don't know. And that's the problem. There are so many question marks that are coming up in this. And so we immediately, after we did our internal investigation, asked the state and federal authorities, please get involved. Uh, because what I knew most important, what was the most urgent aspect of this whole picture to me, was the injury uh, and the offense that the Muslim community in Newark really felt. Could you, could you see any justification for, the, for surveillance of any kind? Well, absolutely. If, there's, if, there's, if there is reasonable suspicion, if there's uh, something that's been reported, uh, and often reports come from within the Muslim community who's just as against terrorism uh, as any of us are, uh, then there's definitely a reason to jump in, and I, I support that. Well, you've been critical. One of your, one of your friends across the river, the, yeah. mayor, the mayor of New York, Mike Bloomberg, who I believe had a political fundraiser for you not too long ago, has been very uh, strongly in defense of his police commissioner and of the operation. Have you spoken to Mayor Bloomberg? Uh, multiple times. Mike, uh, Mayor Bloomberg is a friend of mine. We've been friends for a long time. We've helped each other with both of our campaigns. I've taken a lot of the great ideas from him that are working well in Newark. And he feels very determined uh, that we've stopped about 14 different terrorist plots in New York City. Uh, this, nothing's going to happen on my watch. I will keep my people safe and I'll work within the bounds of the law. Will you continue to work with the NYPD and, on any level? And that, that's the real issue. Uh, what people need to understand is we have an organization in New Jersey that's in charge of counterterrorism. It's called the Joint Terrorism Task Force. New York City actually has police officers on that JTTS. And what we need to have in New Jersey is just a coordinated understanding of what the protocols and procedures and sharing of information. What the breakdown here was is that the NYPD was not communicating with their own people or at least with the JTTS. Uh, uh, Governor Christie has been equally strong in, in criticizing the operation, has, has had some harsh things, some would say, to say about Police Commissioner Ray Kelly over there. Do you agree with what the governor has said about Ray well, Kelly? Well, again, the go governor said so many things, I'm not sure exactly what you're talking about, but the, the reality is we have a problem. Do you think the governor's criticism of the NYPD has been appropriate and helpful? I think that one thing is very helpful, is that both sides, which I'm hearing from both sides now, we need to come together because what I see, and again, I'm a, I'm a local leader, what I see is a community in my city that is now has people that are afraid to go to worship services because they don't know who's surveilling them. I've heard from students that they're afraid of associating or going to uh, events. It's put such a chill and injury on my community, it's wrong. And so what, what I think what Mayor, and I've both talked with both uh, uh, people on both sides of the river and I've talked with the governor at this at length. The governor's simply saying, we have established protocols and procedures. We all should be abiding by it. We all should be sharing information. This is a, this is a team effort to stop terrorism in this area. And so I, I definitely support uh, what he's been saying in that effect. Crime in Newark. Yes. You, you made major, this was one of your major issues when you came in. The murder rate was up last year. Shootings were up last year. What happened? Who, who, what's responsible for that? Who do you blame for that? Well, first of all, I take responsibility for crime in the city of Newark. Understand when you say that's up last year, it was up last year compared to the year before. Right. Uh, so it's down since I've been in office, but we have a lot more work to do, and every Newark resident knows it. My first four years, we led the nation in reducing shootings and murders. We had 12 straight months of increases. That's unacceptable. Brought in new leadership, uh, put a lot new energy in. We actually had a major press conference yesterday about... We, no, I was going to say you had a, a big uh, bust involving out-of-state weapons just a few days ago. Does that tell you that 
that a lot of work still needs to be done? No, it actually tells me we're doing the work. Our gun recoveries in Newark right now are up over 100% this year compared to the same period last year. Our officers are using new tactics, new coalitions and partnerships with other law enforcement agencies. Our tip lines, which are the most lucrative in the nation, uh, are really uh, kicking in and working. Residents are cooperating with us with sharing information. So right now we're seeing the trend after four months, four years going down, 12 months going up, we're seeing it come down again in the city of Newark. And I'm pretty confident that this is going to be a year that you're going to see the crime go down compared to last year. But we have a lot more to do. When one person is murdered in our city or in the state of New Jersey, uh, we all should be taking responsibility do for that. You have adequate police, uh, do you have an adequate police force to handle it right now? Do you have enough manpower? We have enough manpower, but I'll tell you one thing right now. There's not a, a, a big city mayor in New Jersey or around the country that wouldn't want more cops. I would love to have 100 more police officers, 300 police officers. But the reality is, is what can we afford under these very difficult fiscal conditions? Uh, we took a serious blow in 2010, uh, losing state aid, losing Port Authority money, which led to the layoff of over 100 police officers. We've begun to hire them back through federal grants and to install new technology, which is really going to help us. But at the end of the day, we're going to make progress this year, but I would love to see a vision in New Jersey uh, for crime fighting, because from Newark to Camden to Atlantic City, Perth Amboy, Patterson, many cities are struggling with the crime issue right now, and we should have a more aggressive strategy. Mayor, we're going to pause right now. Sure. We're going to pick it up, and in the part of the interview to be shown tomorrow, I'm going to talk to you about the schools, talk to you about UMDNJ, talk to you about the Facebook money, but we're going to leave it there for now. Thank Great. you, sir. Thank you.